Hello beauties, we have just finished season 2 of Sister Eyes. We're on to season 3, episode 11. This one is called The Announcement. So the last episode we ended off with Robin we're going to Mary's house and letting her know. Well, she almost let her know we haven't seen it yet. She was going to be like, I'm pregnant. Mary's going to be the first one to find out about it. So this episode, the description was kind of like Robin reveals her pregnancy to the family. It actually was a nervous Robin reveals her pregnancy to the family, which I thought it was a, like a funny description. I think all of their descriptions are funny. I'm just bullying them at this point. Um, this one, we're going to be really more settled in Las Vegas, and we were lived for eight-ish years, I think, before we eventually moved away from Las Vegas. But now we're going to be starting our new lives, but before any of that even happens, Robin is going to express to the family that she is pregnant with a now Solomon. When Cody and I found out that I was pregnant, I was scared. We had a lot of discussions about when to tell family. Should I tell Mary first? And he said, yeah, that would probably be a good thing. I don't like that they're keeping this thing from the family, or at least the other parents. Being able to tell her alone is important. Yeah, so I'm expecting. That was fast. Yay. That is a fake yay. I'm just seeing the bad in it. This is amazing. This is so beautiful. They're so happy. Yeah. I'm so worried about telling you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thanks. No, no, it's awesome. It's awesome. Thanks. I feel really bad that people have to be so careful with me. Ah, no, it's okay. Don't feel bad. You're okay to be sad, and you shouldn't feel bad about your emotions. I'm too into this. I need to stop. <sighs> this is my family, but like, I'm too into it. I mean, it definitely has been in right. the past. I mean, I have really struggled and just kind of sad that I couldn't be. I know I would be something I've always, you know, wanted more of. I know I would be. I would want to kill myself. God, every single one of these, I was making fun of Robin when I said that. This just makes me so sad to see them talk about this and make Mary, it seems like Mary feels like less of a woman because she can't give birth and she's not. She has a beautiful child. I'm really excited for you. Thanks. I'm excited to share it with you. <laughs> I want so much someone to sit there and go, look at this. This is so cute. It looks so oh, cute. Oh, yeah. I want to do that with you. I'm about six I'm about six weeks along right now. I'm planning on telling everybody else. Do you mind if we tell them at the dinner tonight at your house? No. Oh, very fast. I wonder how long ago they found out that they were pregnant or she was pregnant. Honestly, it kind of surprised me at how much it didn't bother me. Yeah, we love babies. I wonder if there's going to be, like, a problem. This is gonna be like an argument. This is a 40 minute episode, so there's gotta be more. I really like the idea of Robin telling Mary about the pregnancy first. Well, it's an offering of friendship and kindness. I think it's a cool idea. Oh, are they doing Shabbat? Usually we don't have grape juice unless we're doing Shabbat. And those tall candles are out. I miss Shabbat so much. God. Um, I'm so excited now to find out whether or not it's a boy or a girl. But and this will be the first time I'll ever, I'm going to find out ahead of time. I would think you of all people would want to know ahead of time because of the planning. I like surprises. I you like love surprises. The surprises. Mary's really like, I don't care the gender of the baby, I'll love them no matter what. Because literally we got Leon over here, completely non-binary. Like Mary really is the epitome of I do not care about the gender. Hi guys! So, how'd it go? <laughs> a wife in a parole family will put the idea of her husband having an intimate relationship with another wife sometimes completely out of her head. Intimate is such a gross word now. That her sister wife is pregnant, it's there. Stop reminding them. Well, it's actually said there's a confirmation of a full relationship with the other wife. Right. Yeah, my mom's already said that she's like, doesn't even have an issue with it. And she's like, well, he better. Like, Robin seems to be assuming there are issues. When we do this? Tell before, I'll be nervous, I'll to dinner. And we just gather everybody up. Okay. Before we eat dinner. Before we eat dinner. That necklace is so Y2K that Robin's wearing. Mary, I mean, all you've got is paper plates, right? Yep. Yep, and there's bread. Is that holla? Yep, we got holla, we got grape juice, and we got the long candles. There's no way this is not Shabbat. I don't know how the kids, Christine and Janelle, were gonna react. I'm so cute, oh my God. Before we have dinner, we want to actually say that we're all gathered here for a special occasion. Not to celebrate Shabbat? What could it be? In seven and a half months, truly won't be the little one. <gasps> Christine came up to me, just bright and shiny, Terry. I was... <sighs> also, when I was reacting, I was like... Like, looking around. How could they not tell? I was clearly autistic. 
couple of the teenagers didn't say a thing. Aspen and Maddie wouldn't even look at me. I noticed Hunter wasn't saying much. It stung a little bit because I, I wasn't really sure at the time what to think. I mean, we're not going to be like insanely excited. We have like, the more that you have, the less you're going to feel about it. And I looked around and I noticed that Leo wasn't there. Oh no. They're walking away. I wonder if they're looking back to see if somebody's going to notice and follow them. And just kind of struggling. Hey. What an attentive father. They're such attentive parents, seeing that their child has a problem and coming to comfort them. <laughs> not with the fact that Robin was pregnant, but with the fact that I'm not able to be. Oh, sorry, sad. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna be crying at this. It's really not sad. It was nice of them to go away and not like make the moment so sad. Wanted me to have another baby. Right no, 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 no. You okay? You know? What's wrong? Oh my God. If I was Leon in this moment, the last thing I would want is for Robin to come in. Oh baby, I'm sorry. It's still a little bit difficult for me to know that someone's having a hard time with something that's so wonderful to me. It was nice of Leon to give everybody the happy moment and be sad in private. I think that was solid and very emotionally mature. It's giving 16 year old. I know now more than I've ever known in my life how much children bind families together. Yeah, I agree. Sister wives wouldn't really be anything without the kids. Like, who would watch this? And then when Janelle didn't say anything and she didn't come up to me and I have to be okay with that. We really are airing out our dirty laundry with this. Robin's announcement was not the reason I was in a bad place that day. There's been a lot of changes with the move. Mm. My world is upside down. She doesn't really have time and space to not focus on how difficult it is right now. I think the movie's been hardest on you. It hasn't changed my life that much and what I was doing. It's changed yours phenomenally. Well, yeah, she had to leave her job. I've always identified with my career, and I no longer have something that's keeping me away from the home. Mm -hmm. And have a separate life. She no longer has her mother, Sona, and her work woman, Sona. I'm struggling. It's very hard on me, and it's hard on our family. That glitter eyeshadow is not struggling. That looks good. That looks fun, flavorful. Hunter, what? Will you come here, please? Uh-oh, look at him smiling. He's like, the camera's gonna catch me being a little butthole. So far from himself, I don't recognize him anymore. He's withdrawn, he's depressed. Hunter was able to integrate into society, so to speak, really quickly, and he was popular, and I'm pretty sure he graduated with like a 4.3 GPA. He was really impressive. I talked to Robin's neighbor, has their boy in football, Hunter. Mm -hmm. Honey, I think you should go. Yeah. It's the football you were playing back in Lehigh. Oh, I like that he moved to wrestling because football can be dangerous, especially for a little pre-brain, pre-pubescent, post-pubescent, but like very young brain. Dealing with teenagers is a real challenge. It's kind of cool to watch this because like when I have teenagers, when I have kids, I can pay attention to their behaviors and see how like bratty they're being at the moment and recognize that Hunter right now is like very successful, graduated from Johns Hopkins University for example. Like, yeah, he's being a little bit of a turd, but like, that's just what happens. People have emotions. I think it is valid for Hunter to be expressing these and feeling these emotions, because it's really tough for him, because he, just like Leon, like they were saying last episode, where Leon was like, especially gonna have a difficult time with this, Hunter had to leave as a, a kind of society where he was very popular and very well liked, and it's especially difficult for him. And I can definitely understand these emotions he's having. So it's Sunday today, and I'm just gonna get ready for church and have church over at Murray's house. Oh God, what's that outfit, Robin? Mormons are so weird. Even though we don't have a congregation anymore, we still want to have church. Oh my god, Hunter. Fuck, I meant Logan. Sh shoot, I meant Logan. You have your wings on, baby? You need a jacket, honey. It's too cold for today. <gasps> Her shoulders are exposed. We have a half an hour. I don't look forward to church every Sunday. It's not your choice. Your choice is your attitude, and that's it. I want to see what shoes. Right now, please. Get up and get it done. Oh my God, I was so disrespectful to the good Lord. Oh, I'm not going to church. I tried to convince her to go and I talked to her quite a lot about it, but in the end, she didn't want to go. Oh, so Mikhail, you can choose and not me. Huh? Garbage. And so I called her up and she says, Dad, I just have a kind of a moral issue. Oh no, your child doesn't want to go to church, which sucks. With you filming our 
Sunday service. Damn it, I thought it was going to be like a moral issue about how the church behaves. It's sacred and personal, and I don't think it's right to sell it. I didn't know we were taught, we were allowed to talk about the show. Yeah, I feel like God would like it. He'd be like, show how normal it is to go to church. I get where you're coming from. I love you. Bye. Bye. Well, I've always told my kids to sell it to me. I don't agree, but she did a good job of selling it. Very nice. Oh, snaps. Faith is actually to believe in something that you don't necessarily see. Oh, this is the church. Oh, I forgot we used to do this. Oh, I'm being so disrespectful. And he said, yeah, I believe that he created all things which are in the earth. Oh God, nobody's enjoying this. I remember when Leon came out and started like reading from the Bible. They were like, they, they were like tears in their eyes and they were like, I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I was yawning because it was boring. Church is boring. It's not fun. That's why my mom always made us quiet books. Since we moved to Las Vegas, we have found it very important to try and find a social outlet for our teenagers. A local Presbyterian church has a youth group, and we're wanting to see if maybe our kids will integrate well into that youth group. I wonder if this is a church that I'm thinking about, because there was one church that was really, really cool and really enjoyable. And they would like perform music, and they had like pool tables and stuff that we could play with before the session started. Our children don't have a really open venue besides school for making friends. So you'll find a real good group of Pastor loving, Ray. accepting kids and youth here. Pastor Ray was wonderful. His attitude was open and accepting. Every time they say accepting, I assume they're like, oh my god, they're okay with gay people. Then I realize it's just because they're polygamists. And I think that's what we're looking for for our children. Hey, I'm sorry. I do not feel right about this. I'm really sorry. I was about to say, my mom looks like she's going through it. I've tried to keep it in, but I don't. Ooh, explain that. This isn't our church. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. No disrespect to you. God, poor Pastor Ray. He's like, I'm just trying to sell this to you guys. You wanted the appointment with me. Here's the whole ocean. Whatever you want to do. Yet we're saying, hey, go here with the sharks. That is so rude. You couldn't have had this conversation in the car. I understand that moral wise, you guys are going to be on the same. But where does it go from that? I, I, want, I just want to say something. And none of that was like the dots weren't dotting to me because she was for one second. She was like, we allow them to be open minded. But how dare we allow them to be further open minded with the other church? Like, it doesn't connect me. We send our kids to public school. What I'm going to suggest, Cody, is that we table this family discussion and Pastor Ray sitting here. Um, I was Thank just you. opening up my church. Thank you, Janelle. We're open, but we're not the answer, perhaps, that you might think we are. Okay. Thank, Thank you so right. much, Thank Pastor Ray. Yeah. I, really I just felt like I am so out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna say me too. Churches are out of my comfort zone. We really do I need understand. to discuss this more as a family. Right. Janelle is so like being petty with my mom right now. Like this is a family discussion. I'm on your side. He was a good man doing his best. Good man, bad beliefs. I just felt like it was very disrespectful. And she was trying to make the point that they're trying to teach their kids to be not just accepting, but also to think for themselves. And then all of a sudden, she's like, except I don't want them to think for themselves. I don't want them to have this opportunity to think for themselves. And I'm just a little confused. Gwendolyn? Yeah? Hey, sweetie, come here. She's so freaking cute. Gwendolyn's not adjusting very well. She really liked the Utah house. She had this really cool backyard. Oh, yeah. So I told her, when we move, we're going to be able to build you a backyard again. Whenever my friends watch this scene, they bully me. She goes and she looks at the backyard and, well, it's raw. Gravel. It's pathetic. I'm so disappointing. Are you helping in the garden again? She loves the garden. No, I want to watch more of Truly You. Okay, let's start with our measurements. So cool. It's an 18 feet diameter. That's only 17 feet. What? Uh-oh. Can we make it work? Can Just push it a little bit into the pillars. It's fine. Make it work. Um, yeah, you can try. Just try your best. Let's see how it goes. We're having a family party tomorrow night here. My new yard. It's crazy to me that they're doing so much with the backyard space, even though they're not going to stay there for that long. It's just a rental. You are. Well, you can. OK, put these two together. Oh! Careful. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, put these two together. Oh! oh. Good job. I'm proud of you guys. Well, you know, the projects never go quite as planned, and it's taken a little bit long. One time, a brick that was sitting on the side of the walls of that thing fell on Savannah's head, and it forever altered her. Just kidding. It was fine eventually. I actually handled it really well, but I panicked for sure. I was like, I just broke my sister. 
I mean, I just figured this was just another venue to me. But I think this was the wrong venue for us. Is that because one of your wives started crying in front of the pastor? Oh, what a tacky move. Where I draw the line, because I personally See, I feel... disagree so significantly. This is a social thing. Yeah, you gotta get your kids to socialize somehow. We should at least make it the LDS church. You could try, but what if there is no LDS church here? There is, actually. But what if? That's how I feel. This is very closed-minded. I realize that some of you may totally disagree with me. Oh, I thought he was calling them closed-minded. I was like, sir. You know, I yeah. honestly would be willing to run it by the two or three older children that we trust their opinion on this thing. And like try it out one or two times. We're looking for their perspective. Are they meeting friends? Okay. Are we good with that? I'm, let's I'm do okay that. with that. All right. Of course you're okay with that. It's your idea. So let's meet with the kids tomorrow. So that was so funny the way the screen like slowly went up to like transfer to the next moment or whatever. Okay, this is why you're here. This isn't a lecture. No. This is us kind of a, doing an inquiry on what you guys want to do. Are you guys making friends at school? Yes. Um, yes. Do Sorry. they have the same values as you? Yes. That your parents want you to have? Yes, no. actually. There's some no. very goody goods. No. Some of them. I love that Mary, uh, not Mary, McKelty is so strong. Like, yes, yes, I like this. I wonder if she's worried that they're going to switch her to a new school. Maybe introducing you to a church organization's youth group. Our biggest concern is that we could run into the same discrimination here from the LDS church that we did in Utah. Yeah, but that was the LDS church. Maybe it's best to avoid the LDS church. I personally found that the LDS and the Mormons were like not a very kind group of people that were accepting at all. And I was more than other groups of people bullied by Mormons, fellow Mormons. I don't know, I'm not necessarily interested in all these venues, but I'm not interested in only being limited to one region. I'm fine with going to another church. Of course you are. Disgusting rebel. We've always taught our kids to be at a certain age when they actually have their frontal lobe completely grown. What the heck is a frontal lobe? You? Yeah, why not the occipital lobe? You well, always told us that we could choose our church. Right. When you're an adult. Well, I hate the church we have right now. So. What about Mormon church? No. Really? Yes. I want to go hang out with you kids from another church. You just... Oh, dear she. Hunter, are you interested at all? No. I feel like we've made so much progress here. LDS or non-LDS, I don't care. If I could, I would attend. So basically, it's a yes, because they don't mind. Then we will keep pursuing this. Are we done? We're done. I feel like Janelle might be the only one that's actually letting them be open-minded. Yes. We're gonna be in this house for a year and a half. Drop us that baby. I'm just really looking for a safe backyard for my kids to play in. I'd like my house to be a hangout house. And so I'd like my backyard to be inviting and to be safe and to be fun. I think it was cool that that family meeting was had at my mom's house. Oh, wow. It has a safety switch right there. Oh! Oh it's, my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, fake grass in Las Vegas burns your feet. It was, oh. It'll be waiting for. <laughs> I don't have that baby. Just kidding, she survived. That's cute. They're gonna come walking up the street. Okay, you guys ready? Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. Let them go. Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. Let them be free. <laughs> Not me falling and being trampled by a dog. It's like when you walk in the backyard compared to what it was. It's almost like a breath of fresh air. She, she's being spoiled. Giving her a lot of like fancy backyard and everything. We did this for the younger kids, but on Friday we're gonna have a pool party for the big kids. And I think oh, over at yeah. your house. My pool's more of a teenager kind of thing. Adults. I like that they're gonna have a teenager party so the kids can like have their friends over and have their friends think that they're super cool. We as adults have decided we're not going to explore the idea of getting the kids involved in a youth group just for a social outlet. We wanted to do something fun for them, so we're gonna have the kids have a pool party. It's a good venue. Oh my gosh, these are definitely Mormons. I was really happy about it. Since we moved here, the kids have been making friends, and now the weather's good. This whole time, every time I see Leon close to girl, I'm like, something might be happening. Where's Logan? Is he not getting in? And I was pleased with it. I met uh, a few of the parents. Mm. 
Hmm. You can have another boys over there and take like, around the girls. Well, I haven't seen the other boys come, and I trust Logan. I think it's a little weird that he's in a pool with a bunch of girls. It looks like he's crashing this girl, girl party. party. <laughs> I'm sure you don't mind. No, Logan's so chill. I think women are very comfortable around him. Maybe yeah, I should have him come out of the pool. I don't like how they're being very weird about Logan. He's just a kid. He's trying to have fun. Hunter's up in his room. I don't know what he's doing. Oh. He called me and he said, can I just please come over? I really would just like to hang out with you and hang out with Truly. I'm not at the party because I don't want to be. No, just let him not want to. Don't question it. Just let it happen. Oh, I'm so tired of cameras being shoved in the kids' faces when really they just want like a second to breathe. I think Truly is Hunter's best therapy. And it's pretty cheap therapy, really, honestly. It is not cheap. I think it's so cute that the siblings find comfort and solace in each other. <laughs> They're making friends. I love that. I wish we had a pool when I moved to Flagstaff. All we had was a hot tub and it was actually awesome. I was really impressed. I was surprised at the caliber of friends our kids have made. I'm missing about four inches of water in my pool, so I think they must have really had a good time. That's so cute, and there's some still outside. I can guarantee you they all had to sign NDAs when they first like got there. They were probably really excited about being on camera, though. As always, I was right. This was a more than just Robin being pregnant kind of episode. When I first saw, okay, not when I first saw it, but like the playhouse, I got out there, I was super excited, and then like really quickly, I was like very disappointed with that with it and I wasn't like it wasn't like the worst thing ever and it wasn't like and I didn't hate it but when I when I lived in Utah the the huts the houses the little forts I had they were fun and like there was a teepee back there and the teepee was the coolest one actually because it was a big tarp too and it was like every there were trees everywhere I wish there were more like shots of the backyard that we had because I don't think there's really any evidence, but we had a really big backyard and next time I go, I should like sneak into the backyard and take pictures. <laughs> That'd be really creepy. But it was really nice and it makes me like feel bad for myself and also for the parents that I was disappointed. And I probably said to my mom, like, I'm a little disappointed in the treehouse because I like, I like to have transparency with my mom and she was probably like, be grateful for what you have. So I kind of feel bad for myself in a way. It wasn't made out of branches and stuff. Like it was actually set up pretty nice. And I did enjoy a lot of my time out there. And I also had this stuffed bunny that I didn't really have a name for, which was a white bunny. And the dog that we had, I, it was either Sasha or Samantha. I'm pretty sure it was Sasha, because Samantha sounds too much like Cassandra. And that was one of our neighbor's names. So I'm saying it's Sasha. Anyway, Sasha ripped my bunny's face off and I'd had her since I was a baby. And that was like heartbreaking. But yeah, other than that, it was a really nice hut, you know, Besides the fact that I was super disappointed that it wasn't like super cool and like attached to a tree where the rest of them were. But that was nice. I think that was really sweet of them. I think it's, I don't know how far into we have been living in Las Vegas this point is because it seems like there's like a lot happening and they're already super moved in. And I saw some decals sticking to the walls, like in Truly's room above her crib where I was like being a little piss baby about going to church. There was also decals on that. And then there were also decals on the wall. There was something religious, like trust in him or something. It was actually two words. Um, I think that it was pretty great of McKelty to stand her ground about going to church. I don't think that that was like actually it. And that was like the actual reason. But she was probably like, this is what's going to make dad not force me to go to church, which is super freaking boring. Um, and church was always boring, actually. I think it was made more boring by the fact that it was at home, basically. And I don't think it was as long as usual church. Every time that we, like, finished the church session and then it was like, okay, let's eat now. I was always a little bit surprised because it had, it had ended so quickly and, like, surprised and relieved. I'm glad they had some people over. I think it's great that the kids seem to be making a lot of friends really quickly. I think it's best to... They're, like, 16-something. They're probably junior year of high school. Maybe not quite. I don't know how ages work. No, I think they're all sophomore year of high school max, except for maybe Logan. But then again, Hunter... Wait, actually, he might be freshman year. Anyway... It's awesome that the kids are making friends. I think it's great that the parents were like allowed them to have this pool party. I think it's awesome that they also got to meet the parents because that's a big thing that parents, our parents are very for is you have to meet their parents so you understand like the kind of person that you're talking to. 
Um, a lot of it, like, when I say kind of person, there, there's a lot of, like, when they moved here, it's very culturally shocking for them, because not, like, their entire community, everybody, their neighbors, their neighbors' neighbors, their neighbors from several miles away, everybody was Mormon, fundamentalist, polygamists, when they lived in Utah, and, like, even if you weren't, you were, like, aware of that stuff, so everybody's aware of it, everybody's accepting of it, probably for it as well, so this is probably going to be very, this is probably going to be, it is, was, very culturally shocking, different, lots of different flavors of people, I wonder, I kind of want to see more of their interactions, also, there was a Shabbat. I love Shabbat so much. That was such a fun time. I miss doing Shabbat. I think I'll definitely bring that back in my family. We might convert to Judaism. Not to like force anybody to become Jewish, but I just think that's a fun religion. Of all of them, that seems like the most enjoyable because it looks like a lot of fun traditions, a lot of enjoyable traditions. Though I really like Shabbat. I think the conversation they had during it where they were like admitting that they were pregnant, they, Robin was pregnant, I think it's a little weird that they took so long to tell the rest of the family. If they took so long to tell the rest of the family, because they, I don't remember, I don't exactly remember if there's like a point where my dad and Robin suddenly found out about the pregnancy. It seems like they told Mary, and then very quickly after they told the rest of the family, so it wasn't a terrible secret between them, but I think it's like, it's not a good habit to get into keeping secrets from the rest of the moms, because that's not how relationships work. Keeping secrets from the rest of the moms would kind of ju be just like keeping a secret from your spouse if you were in a monogamous relationship, and I'm worried that that might become a habit. Also, at one point I mentioned the help and like how Octavia Spencer was like really good at making this pie, her character mini. Um, fun fact about that that I really think is really, really cute that it's like this mate character was like made for her. The author of the help, the, like the book The Help, she was inspired to write the character mini based off of Octavia Spencer, and in the audiobook, Octavia Spencer voices Minnie as well, and I think that's so cute, and like, she was, she inspired a character that is so fun, and the fact that I know that that's like, based off of Octavia Spencer now, makes me like Octavia Spencer so much more, and I don't know, I just thought I would share that, it's not related to the episode at all, but that's a fun movie, and I think that's a really fun, interesting fact, and I think it makes Octavia Spencer seemed like that much of a better person and like cooler person. So that's really all I have to say about that episode, the announcement, season three, episode one. I'm pretty sure when I introduced this, I said season three, episode five. So I hope not. Guess we'll find out. Hopefully I don't mess up because that's embarrassing. But thank you so much for watching. The next one is going to be the teen sex talk. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna hate it so very much. I'm glad it's a 21 minute episode because that means that I'll be able to include the next episode as well, and that means that I'll be able to talk less about the teen sex talk, because that sounds disgusting and horrifying, and like something that you should keep between you and your family, and not the entire world. But I'm sure it's going to be amazing, and maybe it'll be educational, though I doubt it. Our family was Mormon. So I'm horrified for that. I'm really nervous. I'm probably going to delay that and then end up posting really late, so... Help me manifest that I don't do that. I appreciate your your manifestation with me, your thoughts and your prayers. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time for the Teen Sex Talk and Four Houses, Four Relationships, which I actually agree with. I'm interested to see that one. But thank you all so much for watching. Please consider commenting. Let me know your thoughts on this, your opinions on other things. Please like as well. Please subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Thanks so much. Mwah.